So... We're pretty close, luckily. Just have to wait till it comes back. Run, 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 run. Um, I died over there. Doesn't really look like the big rat will come over here if I don't antagonize it, so... There's an entryway over there. There you go, up the butt. And then down, that net shard. Illusory wall ahead. Wow, thanks. Maybe I shouldn't tank. Wait a second. Ooh, do 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 do. I don't want to be full health for this. Oh shit! This guy is fucking fast! There we go. Ooh, that didn't look like a dead animation. Fuck me! I keep losing track! Running down, running down, running down, and then left. And there go the rats. And then let's check over here. Okay, that doesn't look so cozy. Oh shit, that was stupid. God damn those guys. Cookie. Thank you for helping. Kukri, kukri, kukri. Where is it? Kukri? I hear footsteps. I'm not comfortable right now. Wait, isn't that a weapon? Maybe it's an... Ah, oh, here we go. Throwing knife causes bleeding. A unique weapon originally used by swordsmen of Cartus, but now popular among bandits and thieves. 
Okay, so... I went up this one. Might want to do that first before I go anywhere else. So I don't lose my souls. Okay, and now get 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 the drop on him. Okay. Wow, that was fucking confusing. Hope you guys didn't get nauseous from that one. Wow. Okay, do Esther's flasks left for another one of those guys. Grave Warden's Ashes. I'm gonna wait till he turns around. Maybe I can pop a few uh, soul arrows into his ass. This seems to work. There we go. And he left something, so... I'm gonna assume that's great. That he's dead. Where the hell did he go? What the hell, dude? That wasn't fun, but it did give me a good view on uh, that guy. Does he have close quarters stuff? There's something else here. I heard something growling, or oh, it might be the rat down there. Okay, that's where we came from, over there. Trap. Salt trap. Cartus Rouge. Those guys we dealt with. That's the giant rat below us. So, is there anything else around here? Because that just leads back down. Um, and this is where the asshole was. So I don't see anything. So do we need to go down here then? I'm just gonna quickly check. And then I might go back first. Oh, for fuck's sake. <gasps> Fire jump. Oh, okay, it died. This is stupid, but... Oh, shite. I'm stuck! The fuck? Yeah, I was stuck in that rock over there. Fuck you, come on. Okay. 
that was stupid. I don't mind dying if it's my own fault, but that was... I was just stuck completely in that rock, so... Uh, sad, but nothing I can do about it. I do want to get my souls back. Should only be one of those curved swords dude that I, dudes that I need to kill. It's coming, it's coming. Oh shit, yeah, it came. Fuck it, I'm gonna drink double, because I'm gonna turn back anyway, so... I lost him again with all his jumping. Okay, more Kukri. And now I want my souls back. <laughs> Look at that, it's embedded in the rock. I do want to have another try, so... Don't forget to back... ...up correctly. Let's get back out here, because it's way cooler out here. Nope! And he dropped something. Large Dite Knight's shard. I really shouldn't go out here, but... Better judgment, I'm just too curious. So that's a really squeaky bridge. Suspended bridge, it's wearing is wearing tin. And that's a developer message. Yellow bug palette. And then over here. New Father of the Year award. Who's next? There's a lot more of you in here. Black Buck Palette. Large Soul. There's a bunch of you over here as well. They don't seem to be resurrecting. Are they gonna resurrect once I'm trying to uh, cross the bridge? Probably. Where is this going? Oh, this is another way across. Without using the bridge. Because it looks bad down there. And I have way too many souls. So I am going to head back to Firelink Shrine first. Because this looks a bit ridiculous. I can open this apparently. Looks like one of those balls should come true here. Um. Ah, what the hell? Did it just stop? 
Nope. So I want to follow him if I want to head back. Whoops. There we go. So I opened that gate. I don't really know why, but hey, might as well be another shortcut. And let's head back to Filing Shrine. Okay, so let's see what that brings us to. Level up. Probably only one, yeah. Um, let's go with endurance. Since I might be able to use that. Um, nope, still nothing else to say. So the rest of my souls, I'm first gonna give that pyromancy tome to uh, Ornix here. Cornix, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, give pyromancy tome. Well, well. I've never seen anything like this. This inscription. This tome is from the catacombs. Fascinating. On this day, the teacher learns alongside the pupil. Awesome! <laughs> so, uh, let's see what extra pyromancies that, is, that it has given me. A few special ones. Cartus Flame Arc Reinforced Right Weapon with Flame. Uh, Bursting Fireball. I think we had that already. Cartus Beacon. The most obscure pyromancy developed in Cartus of the Sands. Damage increases with consecutive attacks. Cartus's aggression has been likened to an, un an uncontrollable fire. And since ancient times, its beacon has been used as a signal for war. Interesting. So this is also one of Cartus of the Sands. Emits an acid which corrodes weapons and armor. Cartus's swordsman attached great value to victory and would not shun the use of such pyromancies, for where is the honor in death and scoured bones? And then the flame arc warriors of Cartus favored supplemental pyromancy such as this, which was used to enhance the curved blades of its swordsmen. Mm -hmm. Okay, a few uh, extra pyromancies I can Do not buy. Be gone. What is it? <laughs> but I'm not gonna buy any just yet. I wonder, can I even use that? I'm gonna uh, rearrange my uh, gear a bit, but first I'm gonna check out, out Ludlitz's inventory. There we go. Aha, that's all. Um, I need 5,000 souls for Havel's ring, and I really want that, actually. Now. Uh, so let's pop something, not a vein, just a soul, uh, there we, a large soul of an unknown traveler, let's try this one first, oh, no, that's the bigger ones, yeah, okay, so uh -huh. let it, begin soul transposition and give me Havel's ring with the soul of the stray demon, now, now Havel's ring allows you to carry more, um, slightly boosts dexterity. So if I remove this... Oh wow, it's actually three points. So I'm gonna keep that on and use... Uh, remove Pontus' left eye and switch that for Havel's Ring. Because that increases my maximum load, as you can see. It goes from 48 to 55.2. And that should allow me to change up my gear a bit. I'm gonna set the bow to my right hand and set my staff to my left hand. Because I can only use the bow if it's in my right hand. Um, I'm doubting whether I should add another talisman as well. But I'm gonna first see how this goes. Um, yeah, that's about it. So that still allows us a fast roll and the sand-like animation. And now I can actually... Well, I don't really have a use for great magic weapon, except... 
if I use my Hollow Slayer Greatsword. That's just not 70, so... Oh, I can't even chomp that. So it's useless at the moment. I'm gonna go back to the Fire Sword. And then... Attune a different uh, spell, because this is useless. Uh, reinforce Astro's Flask, I don't have any. Uh, reinforce weapon then. Boost my fire sword even more. Well, yeah, why not? I only need two of the six I have. And then I might as well boost it up to five. There we go. Pretty <laughs> big, And then we have a little bit of souls left. Uh, I am using normal arrows right now. Do I want to spend those? Oh yeah, I'm gonna first check. I found another batch of ashes, didn't I? Yeah, here we go. Umbral Ash of the Grave, Warden of the Catacombs of Cartus. With this, the Shrine Handmaiden will prepare new items. The old man began as a squire, carrying his master's accoutrements. accoutrements. He ended his days a Grave Warden and carried them still. So let's see what she can give us for that. Gracious, passing fine ash thou'st given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. So it's better than the dream chaser's ash. New wares content thee. <laughs> so let's see them. So more embers. Those pallets, the kukris, are added to her inventory right now. Uh, so we bought all the keys. She's selling Titanite shards. I don't really remember if she did before. Uh, a lot of extra. Ooh. Composite bow. Hmm. And a fancy new talisman. So the composite short bow emphasizing power. Its size allows for quick shots. Though more powerful than standard bows, it also requires more strength of the user and its range is short. But it does have rapid fire. Oh, I can actually equip myself as the uh, Abyss Watchers, which is also cool. So these undead warriors vowed to partake of wolves' blood. They acted in the dark, seeking out any sign of the Abyss, fighting a constant war with it, its abominations. That kind of explains why the entry to the uh, catacombs is behind them. This pointed steel helm was a distinct symbol of the Legion, shirked as a sinister omen by the masses. Also the abominations, blah blah blah, nothing really interesting. And the life ring is also added. Um, feather arrow. Their long range makes them ideal for distant targets. Hmm, interesting. So long range arrows. And then this canvas talisman, medium for casting miracles of the gods. Canvas talismans are austere items carried by heralds. Equip talisman are sacred time to cast miracles. And uh, nothing specific about that. Nope, 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 okay. Not really anything. Well, no keys, anyway. There are a few interesting items, but I'm not gonna Ashen buy one. any just now. Uh, I'm gonna check with Orb back here. Back again. Perfect. If I, he has anything, I might be able to use. Hmm. Maybe illumination might be handy, just in case I ever need it. Hmm, reinforce left shield with magic. It's also interesting. But I'm gonna buy illumination, cause light. Again. And then I'm gonna attune a few different spells at the bonfire. So we're better equipped for anything we might face. So let's attune spell. Uh, and then change the great magic weapon with... Hmm, Illumination or the Crystal Hail. The, the FP cost is pretty big for the Crystal Hail. 
but it's actually pretty big for cast light as well. I'm gonna need that more in the catacombs, I think so. Um, maybe I'm gonna show you something I missed, so I'm probably gonna edit this heavily, so you don't need to watch me travel there and all, but uh, I'm gonna go back to the Tower of the Giant really quickly, because I think I forgot something over there. So, uh, in the front, at the front gate of the tower, you remember this guy, the falcon guy? I forgot to talk to him after we uh, recruited Irina, the saint, from over there, out of her cell. And I should have talked to this guy. You've gone and rescued her, have you? There we go. How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. <laughs> Very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I am Egon, a knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. So this is Egon. Uh, he was protecting her and he says that he's allied with me as long as I don't... Well, fail to protect What's her. What's the matter? My terms are very simple. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. I'll do my best, Eagle. <laughs> so, that's something I forgot to do. And now we'll head to the other side of the Road of Sacrifices. Oh, no, wait. I'm gonna head up here. Because um, there's also something I missed over there. So where we fought the uh, fire demon over here at the, the midway station, there's actually a few corpses over there that I can shoot. And I never did that. So, I should. Here we go, that's one. So the northern equipment. And then, I think it's this one, yeah. There we go. Pale Tongue. So two more items. So let's first check out the Pale Tongue. Proof of a red orb in Vader's victory over a host of embers. Claiming tongues as trophies was originally the practice of an infamous troop of invaders who offered them to their speechless goddess. There we go. And then the northern uh, gear. Uh, I'm going to check it like this. It will be the easiest way. Iron Helm of a stalwart northern warrior, Greyfield and Ornate Pattern, Iron Defensive Wear grants superior stability. Being from the north, it should also offer resistance to cold. And that's pretty much all it says, because it, I think it's also uh, some of the basic uh, armor. So now, to the other side of the Road of Sacrifices. There we go. So we're back at the halfway fortress. So if you go up and defeat those creepy dudes. There we go, that's at least most of them. So I'm gonna kill this one as well. You can actually see it down there. Never looked in that direction, so I should drop down here to below the bridge. There we go. Take a little bit of damage. And then there's one or two dogs, I think. It seems this dog is gone. So this dog is pregnant for some reason. Don't really know what happens. With it. Nope. Can't really hit it. So this is the Bray Divine Tome of Kareem. So we can uh, 
add some more miracles to uh, Irina's uh, inventory. So let's check it out. A sacred braille tome from Karim, filled with advanced miracles. Give to a storyteller to learn advanced Karimi miracles. In the way of white, there is a tradition of placing great faith in the words of the blind. And braille tomes are not unusual. There we go. And then the ring. Also, very important piece of equipment. A malformed ring given to Knights of Karim. And you kind of see what it looks like. It looks like a, a hawk. Um, the Falcon, the same type of armor that the Aegon had on. So, boosts miracles, Morn served the goddess Keita and later became an apostle of the Archbishop. They labored together to provide comfort to the suffering. So, a few new names. The goddess Keita is the, the, the goddess of uh, the land of Kareem. And the Archbishop is also a very important name, I think. And that's more miracle equipment. So now I'm gonna head back to Firelink Shrine and give that Braille Tome to Irina. Whatever you want to do, just don't do it. Don't do it! So see you back at Firelink Shrine. Um, there we go. There's Aegon. So now he's here. Ah, I know you. Been some time. Well, it's actually just been five minutes. I just dropped in to see how she's getting on. Now, what are you playing at with this circus? This cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates. Couldn't be better. She must fit in perfectly here. <laughs> okay, you seem to be... A really weird person to protecting her, since you're also really mad at her this for some place reason. This is a good nope. <laughs> okay then, so let's go pay a visit to little Irina and give her that bright tomb, rail tomb. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Rail tome, I think it is. There she is. Uh, Hello. Do you wish to have? Hello, Irina. Here you go. Oh, you've brought me a Braille Divine Tome. Braille Divine now Tome. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. What fun we will have. <laughs> okay then. Uh, learn miracles? What else do you got now? Medium heal? Miracles are fruit of the study of divine tales, a blessing received from the gods through acts of prayer. Miracle strength depends on the caster's fate. Uh, and then we have the one I want to buy is Homeward. Because that kind of replaces Homeward Bones then. Um, force creates a shockwave. While it inflicts no direct damage, this miracle propels foes back, staggering them. You can also defense, defend against incoming arrows, which is also cool. Um, caressing tears, cures bleeding, and everything else. Tears of Denial grants one chance to endure when HP reaches zero, intended to grant the dying a few moments of a final farewell. Tears are shed for the sake of the living, more so than the deceased. So that way we could avoid fatal damage, apparently. Um, sounds good for now, although I might want to get this one if I want to go back to the Cathedral of Deep, which I want to do eventually. And that might be able to uh, cure those, well, maggots. I don't know what they were exactly. That kept giving me uh, blood loss. So I think that will be all for this episode. I'm going to take a little break. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you liked it, don't forget to like this video right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, because I really appreciate that. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!